Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com and in this video I'm going to talk about tribal knowledge within IT. And This comes from a discussion I had um, at my, my most recent job with with a colleague as far as whether or not tribal knowledge should should be shared and and in fact um, the the short answer to that is yes it should be and what, what we were talking about were just experiences that that we had had in, in other positions where you have um, tribal knowledge which was concentrated in maybe one or two folks and they refuse to share the knowledge simply to kind of have some 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 job security so as far as they are the only folks in the organization that know insert things here then they're valuable and the organization can't live without them well of course that's kind of a ridiculous way to think but it, it does happen and what, what I mean by tribal knowledge is there there is no one organization that has achieved complete and total mastery of documentation of their network, server infrastructure, all, all that kind of stuff. I mean, there, 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 there's good documentation out there. There are examples of businesses that, that really have it down. They have a good um, knowledge base um, available to, to employees and uh, especially to, to new folks with their IT staff that they can use use that to help get up to speed or uh, use it to to learn about standard operating procedures in, in, in particular if their supervisor and such might not be there and hey we have to, to come to, to a decision have we dealt with this kind of thing before check the knowledge base kind of thing and there are situations where there's no documentation at all and uh, all, all that all that knowledge lives and dies with the one or two IT folks that are there and when they leave they they take it with them and, and that's it and then there there's all all um, matter of in between with that and tribal knowledge is not a, a, a bad thing there, there's always going to be stuff that this is this, not well documented but the 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 reality of tribal knowledge is that it's, it's going to be there and when asked for tribal knowledge in my opinion you should share it. Now, I'm not saying, hey, some person from another department, what's the standard administrator password that we use? No, you don't share stuff like that. But for example, if 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 there is if there's some aspect of your server infrastructure and um, someone needs to know, hey, I want to, to, to deploy this new application server. Are there any gotchas that I that I should know about in our environment that I need to take into consideration before I deploy this VM? Such as you know, what subnet doesn't need to be on? Is this subnet the HTTP, or do we use static IP addresses? All that kind of stuff. The um, that that knowledge may or may not be documented. Hopefully it is. But if it isn't, and you know it, in my opinion, you should you should share that with your your your, your coworker. Your worth and value to your organization within your IT department isn't necessarily what and how much you know, but it's what you can do within this department to help the business because remember IT exists for for business our our entire job yes we use technology but the the job is solve the business problems and we happen to use um, technology to, to, to do that and and help parts of the business be able to interface with, with one another since we are um, so entrenched in the communication of a, a business either literal communication between people or technical communication but between systems the idea of taking knowledge and just holding on to it and hoarding it and never sharing it with, with, with anyone so you, so you make people dependent on you is really kind of counter to to what um, to, to what we should do in the business which is help it thrive well uh, in my opinion thriving usually comes with the the sharing of information now that being said every time you learn something new you know, I, you don't go to the rooftops and hey, I've 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 learned this this thing about our system. You know, fo folks folks might know it, but when asked about hey, I've, I've I myself have discovered this thing that I didn't realize that you have discovered already. Have you heard of it? Sure, yeah. This is this is how it works. This, this is the the these are the things that happen when you use this thing. Of course, I'm speaking in um, real non-specific general terms but but the, the the concept is there and the basic idea is tribal knowledge is going to exist in in any business with not just with IT but but with any system within a business and 
as you bring new folks on, especially if if the new folks are coming to complement your own position, either trying to offload some 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 work for you, or you uh, or or a team is being formed to where no one person has to be responsible for it all. I, I would not be stingy with sharing that that tribal knowledge, especially if it's something that helps them get get onboarded. Um, I'm always curious to hear your comments and such. Have you dealt with situations where tribal knowledge is held under under lock and key, or have you been in situations where all the folks in your your department are doing some free sharing of information, and and we they want everyone to be up to speed about as much stuff as possible? Or have you never dealt with tribal knowledge before? Are you in one of those situations where documentation is so great, you know, every time we, we learn or discover something, we, we put it down in our, our knowledge base and such. I'm always curious to, to, to hear feedback. That, that's, that's how we all learn from one another. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that, that you click like and uh, subscribe to the channel as well so you can be aware of when new content comes available. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next time.